you said the word determinism there and what both came to like, I'm reading this like a couple of similar books to yourself and and there was an element of uh, uncertainty I was walking down the hall there the other day after one of our previous conversations and I was trying to verbalize something that I didn't actually really know anything about and it was about you know the instance it instantaneous so like information arriving instantaneously from between a and b at, at faster than the speed of light because that's what instantaneous is there was no distance between a and b and it must have traveled faster than the speed of light for it to happen instantaneously now i was trying to verbalize this they didn't know what i was talking about and then i went off found a book my daughter had on quantum quantum theory i don't know what quantum theory is now i know i know a little bit more about it now after probably a two-day read about it but what the very last page of the book after going on a journey of 200 years with the famous sort of theoretical physicists and and classical physicists down to quantum physicists was this definition of quantum theory or what it can or parts of it and what it contained and the very last couple of pages was was arriving at where determinism determinism it has been it, it no longer stands because he couldn't actually quantify and measure both the motion and position of an atomic particle without like you know, you might know where the what the what the the disposition was but you wouldn't know the momentum by the very act of measuring one and not the other or you might know the momentum and not the position or position not the momentum depending which one but you couldn't know both at the same time and go this this theory of 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 um that that actual theory then led to the fact that determinism could no longer stand because determinism meant you ha if you could measure both you could then forecast or say about on a time or space basis <clears throat> you know what where what would what would be happening you would be certain so the uncertainty principle said you couldn't measure both and for that reason you couldn't have determinism and for that reason classical physics plus quantum theory suddenly led back to philosophy and the sense of going there is a god not there's a god there is an element of the unknown still out there the unmeasurable do what it says on the tin and follow and share